19 yes <laughs> ready ready to slide in the DMs you know it I have no items all right can't even adjust my arts raise the alarm I can see that take what you need from here <laughs> take what you need here's a chest it looks like they kept prisoners effects in here rope this morals it's 2017 you still have those yo quite a blade I know that sword storm how what is it doing here well it's too big for That's what she me. said. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? The Holy Paladin himself. Be careful. No you think I give a fuck? I don't care. <laughs> you didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. I wouldn't mind getting into her back docks. Alright. I said it. Judge me if you want. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malachi. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> I like how they don't give her a face and they give her big tits too. Yoink, look at that. Just nab that shit. Really slim. Yoink. Guards coming. Two of them. This way. They gave Sarah some mask to cover her eyes. The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's alright. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks. Under the watchtower. That's a vast improvement, too. Yeah, that's it, intruders. All exorcists, break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, sir. sir. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. That is my opinion. You can hate me for it. I just waltzed in the room. The blazes are you. That doesn't matter. Square up, nigga. Oh, wait, hold on. After this tutorial.
They learned. They, they decided to teach me stuff that I found out by mashing buttons through the other tutorials. Man, this guitar, man. I'm also sorry about the drop frames. I have Comcast as an ISP. It's not the best. It's like, you, oh, I hit that, I hit that limit, and then they decide to want to throttle my internet at all times. Hold up, what's over here? We got ourselves stuck. Why are you standing here? Okay, well, fuck him. Ceres is Ceres is that bitch. No, that'd be that'd totally be velvet. You're not going to escape. Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs or goblins. This Abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the Abbey joined forces with the Kingdom of Midgan. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Molochine will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. Dear me, not a word of apology? Magilu for 
short. Maggie Lee? No, Ma! Like Soggy Shoe or Doggy Doo! Or call me any of those things and I'll turn you into a froggy stew! <sighs> I suppose you'll never understand. <laughs> People can be so tragically unlearned. But hey! Like I care! I only like her eyes because they're like different colored. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. You must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Moloch came around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician. Not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. Get fucked. Boss fight! in the blades already. Huh. Riddle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. Sharpshooters Vento. Vintage. Enable snipe charge in battle at the Garden Force of Pokemon. swordsman was just strange he was so full of fury but when you started talking about that sword his manner changed completely don't think too much about it he's a demon after all the prisoners here are all so unusual <sighs> oh, except for you forget it like I care what a Moloch thinks of me I like how the, this lady with the big tits does not talk much at all Like, she doesn't say much of nothing. I'm probably gonna have to fight this thing, aren't I? Thought so. she have to no she doesn't it's just that I noticed like that's that's been the thing that she's been doing I learned a new art the 
gate to the docks locked down. We can't break through. The tower should be just ahead. Nah, just couldn't. I can't help but pay attention to just how unnoticed, unno how noticeably quiet she is all the time. She just comes in I'm like, "Don't look at my face. My tits just are out." This riot. You won't be getting away. Prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. The velvet is just so angry. I love it. This is like it's like somewhat refreshing to me because it's like it's like at first, like at first, you you think it'd be just another ordinary tales game, right? But it's like now. What I'm getting out of this is, well, first off, our character is not a 16-year-old person like Jude. Luca was a grown man. Then they went back to it with Sure. Like we don't have these underage people. It's a woman, so it's different. And sh and she's evil. This is awesome. It's like refreshing. It's like, it's like. Yeah, I already said it. it's different. It's awesome. I like it. <laughs> has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. Truly committed to this. You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. We're almost there. That's enough! Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No. I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. All out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is, then.
Lord Arturius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against him? He, oh, okay. Why is it still alive? For fetal. Please consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Bella. <gasps> this was Lafayette. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry. Before my life fades, do it now. No apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. Are one and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days. <laughs> when you and I. <laughs> and Arthur were. <laughs> together.
that was rough. What is happening? Move! If you don't. such a demon. Can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet. That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon, Moloch, and exorcists alike. Why didn't he stop drop and roll? service this blade is my life i owe you a great debt one i vow to repay yes yes she's a peach and a model citizen can we get our move on i think they're just about done massacring the rioters the docks are just ahead give me a hand this smells like more tutorials in my future If your SG is already full, if my soul gauge is already full and I'm about to defeat an enemy, I can finish off my foe with a break soul and essentially for free as I'll regain the soul that you spend. No, no, that's good though. That's like a pro tip. Just like, hey, this is something you might want to know. Additionally, performing a break soul comes with a significant HP restoration and can heal you even when inflicted with a status ailment. 
Be sure not to waste this opportunity because it could mean the difference between continuing the fight or getting KO'd. Can't beat the game without going through all these tutorials, am I right? No, nah, absolutely. between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy. Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Notorious. Off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. <laughs> Jeff! Oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tail to warm the heart? There's a city called Hellenbees nearby. Can't promise they're much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. <laughs> Dudes are the hustle. You call him by name. No, 
I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Uh, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many. But mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me. You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement. Your words cut deeper than these northern winds. <laughs> This, this, uh, voice acting is great. What time is it? It's about to be midnight. I think I might end the stream at my next save point. Get some story in. Oh shit, we got hella monsters out here. said I was human. You just find it funny that Corey Feldman was talking about this stuff way back and everybody laughed at him then. Yeah, probably because there wasn't no money involved. Honestly, there was it was probably because there was no money involved. But it all it took was just the right the right spark, that right person to just set everything in fire. Now all of a sudden everybody's getting exposed, which I think which I think as a guy, I don't think I like I don't think it should have been just that cut and dry. What the hell is oh, this? No. I'm in so much trouble, so much trouble. Won't somebody please help a kitty out? Meow. Oh look, another weirdo. That thing talks? What if it's a cat demon? Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? Is that different from a regular cat somehow? It's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. Just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. That works for me. I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you? They look like this. That's just like what I found at Titania. Perfect. You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes we call them kitten caboodles, too. That's just foolish. Really? Then how about kitty clumps? Anyway, one night we were having a feast so meowthomous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. That's why I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to emeousipate my friends. Emeousipate? Really? It means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cats boxes like these here. Meow. What the fuck? Here you'd say Apesipate. <laughs> this one would be Edoxipate. And finally... <laughs> I'm free, Meow. See? Emeousipate. By that logic, shouldn't it be Ecatsipate? Wow, you're way more clever than you look. For real. I guess I totally underestimated you. Please, our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them. Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor clothed brothers and sisters, meow. And why should I? Please, think of the cats. 
You know, cats have weird and mysterious powers. There's a good chance we might benefit by having them in our debt. We'll make it worth your while, I promise. And if we snub them, they might put a curse on us. That has been known to happen. Ew. <laughs> if we're doing all this traveling anyway, why not help them on the side? Just remember that it's on the side. Oh, oh, the shit, the 10 gallon hat returns. Oh shit, more story. Exorcists. Well, that's just inconsiderate. Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I, I apologize about earlier. I didn't mean to steal this. Yeah, you did. Compass. Then he takes off. You okay with this? He could be working for the exorcists. I'm following him. Mmm. Is he your dessert? If necessary. American. Like, what about lube? You get your lube when it bleeds. Fine, just pay me more. A storehouse? Flamestone. Also known as Melchionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur and you get explosives. Mix it with oil and you get fuel. Sounds dangerous. If it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor, if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse! We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons, too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still wearing one. Nope, not an option. What a gameplay trait this guy has. shop looks promising good luck with the shipwright search boys poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys can they it's true yo look at this man that man is taking off that man Usain bolted his way over to that weapons like he's just like yo no nah, no nah. his eyes was on the prize damn that dog what does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. We need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? Uh... 
Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. And you, girl. Aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgown was so cold. That was a fake sneeze. A woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. Her hair is godlike, though. Oh my. So this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cool, cruel world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this dial person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you, he's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. It can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. <laughs> Look out for the taser special with that one. Got up to in the meantime. Yeah. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I could scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My palate has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! Yeah, Maniac, you can't, you can't say, yeah, it was like too easy. Just like, I need something warm in my system. <laughs> Man, why, you know? It's like, come on. Come on. That was that. What is this? getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helibes. This town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow. She must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the frozen queen of the exorcists. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the white knight Helibes needs. Our town is as beautiful and pristine as it is because we have Lady Teresa here with us. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the filthy. Oh, if only she would look at me like that, with those ice cold eyes. Teresa, my love. If she lets idiots like him run around loose, then I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is. 
that voice acting on that dude, like perving on her, was like great. It was so great that it actually like made me a little uncomfortable. Just like, oh, if only she'd look at me like that. Oh. <laughs> a fun fact. Yaktail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yaktail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Yeah, like that dude was jizzing it in his pants, like during that statement. Yoink! Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon blight in Hellabees? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? There was an herb I saw over here. Like I like if you're like going through his weapons, like the weapons will change. I know I know the armor won't change, but you know what? That'll probably be in a future alpha area. title. You want to form an alliance with my gamma area to bring down the betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy: ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed, if your alpha forces and my gamma forces work together, beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance alpha area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hellebees Grand Snowball Fight. Let us toast to our victory. This isn't a snowball fight. It's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools, I was the one who engineered their alliance. Once they eliminate beta area, Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted! The victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All spare in snow and war. I'm a save here. I think I'll uh, cut the stream when I get to the next area. The area where I'm supposed to be looking for that guy. Oh, man. This cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country. But still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that... What do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. No, 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 no. I, uh, I'll cut it. I will cut it here. This is a good place to stop. Like, it's not smack dab in the middle of the story. I can get a solid start the next time I stream. I uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, time is it's like midnight now. Um, want to say tomorrow, tomorrow, hell, maybe tonight at around 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, I should be back live again. That's uh and that's barring like future events happening or anything like that. But I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope to see you guys tomorrow if I can make it.